I've got a great idea. Good. Why don't you tell us a little bit about a little bit about what I'm seeing here. I'm recording right now. Okay. So this is this is a half size carving of Ezra. That's right. And he was started back in January uh, as a, as a was trying to do a full size nesting of Big Red and Ezra. And then in uh, the spring, when we had the horrible news of what happened with Ezra, we were all so shocked. I decided I wanted to finish it as quickly as I could so that um, I could bring it to Cornell and, and hopefully share it with the community of people who loved Ezra and Big Red. And, here and um, some memories of them. So I named this Forever Ezra, and I was able to finish it in August. And uh, here I am to share some people who have been you know, so wonderful in seeing him and seeing you know, and remembering uh, all, all the joy that he brought to so many of us. The, the level of detail is really, really phenomenal. Uh, and I mean, there's I'm looking right now, we're looking at the, at the feet and just the, the detail involved of those. Right? Just making the feet is about a two to three week process just for the feet. And they're made from uh, heavy gauge brass wire of different calibers for each of the talons and the, the toes and the parcels. And each one is different and then you have to be shaped and uh, made to fit on the branch that it's on. And then after they're shaped and I'm pretty confident that they'll be able to sit comfortably on the branch, I can then putty them uh, to give them a little bit more of the outside texture because you can't do that to the wire. I see. And then after they're textured that way and shaped in some shape, then we can paint them. But the feet are the last thing to go and they have to be modeled in two directions, obviously. One to sit on the branch and two to go in the, in the legs of the bird. So it's quite an extensive process to do that. How, how is it that, like, I'm looking at some of the leg feathers right now, how is it that you gave them their texture? What, did, I mean, did you just use a, a scraping tool? What, what, how, how no, those you... are done with a, um, a stone burr that I customized to have a um, special thickness of a tip. It's, and it goes into a rotary tool that spins at about 20,000 RPM. And then by hand, you shape each of the feathers using the edge of this stone bit that's been, tech that's been carved into a very flat surface. So once that's done, you kind of lay out the direction of the feathers that you want. Um, and you can do that. The other feathers on the, on the back of the bird and the other feather group are done with different tools. Those are um, called burning tools and they're almost razor tip um, razors that are heated uh, just to a certain degree that will not burn the wood uh, but just really create cut lines, very, very shallow cut lines in the wood. And when you create the, uh, each, each feather has to be obviously burned individually. And you lay out the feather group in the direction of the feathers and you do the cut lines all the way, all the way around the bird from the head all the way to the tail. Let's, let's talk about the eye. Now, is, it, that's, is that something you could purchase or is that, what, what is... You can purchase the eyes and some carvers make them. These, this was a study and I didn't make these eyes. These are purchased uh, glass eyes from specialty places that make specific animal eyes. Okay. Of different sizes and different, you know, each species has its own size um, that they have. So that's where the eyes come from. And then of course the ring around the eye has to be made by the Oh yeah, right. I can imagine. Let's just sound it back. Yeah, uh, well, yeah well, let's, no, 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 uh, well, yeah, I don't, I can't, I won't be able to squeeze in back there. Or, you know what? No, I've got an idea. I've got an idea. I won't be able to hold this quite so steady just because uh, of the nature of uh, I'm standing here holding my hand, holding this all by hand. But just look at these feathers. 
Come on, Ferris, focus. I guess I can't help I can only imagine what went into the what went into the tail feathers. Yeah, so this is all one piece of wood. And just creating each feather so that it crosses underneath the, the next feather. And if you flip this thing over it, you know, each feather is on top of itself the other way on the underside. And uh, just working on the tail area is uh, you know, a couple weeks of, of work. I don't think I could ever finish it. Not, for me, it wouldn't be a couple weeks. It would be maybe never. Well, you don't start out doing one like that, that's for sure. Oops. Well, we're running out of battery power here. That is some beautiful, beautiful work. My goodness. Thank you so much. And I congratulate you. And just the fact that you brought this for other people to appreciate is, is really wonderful. Well, I wanted, I wanted to uh, you know, help, help out in whatever way I could. And I thought sharing it with the people who love Ezra would be really important. And then donating it by putting it up for auction and letting all the proceeds go to support the great work that's done here would be a great thing to do. So uh, that's, that's why we're here. That is wonderful of you to do that. that you know. <laughs> I, won't, I won't leave him out. Let me see if we can get him in there. You know, we, we he looks like him. he's scared for his life. Well, he should be. <laughs> <laughs> he should be. And of course, this is a half size. Well, it's, it's, it's remarkable. It's remarkable. Thank you so much, David Cohen. Thank you. We appreciate it. And I hope that we'll see you tonight at the Bird Cams event. That's great. That is great.